Hello, I'm Steve Walls, and I'll be showing you how to take your Revit and Navisworks BIM design models into the Torch environment and give you some ideas on how to display these in augmented reality during design review meetings. So what we're looking at here is a pedestrian and utility bridge design inside a Revit. And as we rotate and zoom in on the left side, you can see we've got a ramp and a stairwell, and these actually connect to an existing park. And on the right side, we've got another ramp and a stairwell, but they connect to a sidewalk along the road. And this bridge spans actually 300 feet across a pretty big river in North Carolina. So it's a pretty decent size structure that we're designing here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to export this from Revit and bring it into Navisworks. So we're going to use the external tools, click Navisworks. And we'll call this uh, pedestrian bridge. Click save. Let this process. And then we'll jump over to Navisworks. And we're going to open up that NWC file that we just created. And there we go. So for those of you that aren't familiar with Navisworks, uh, it's a great tool for uh, just overall coordination of 3D models, performing clash detections, creating reports. Um, they even have uh, this tool called Timeliner, which is really cool for showing like construction sequencing and all. Um, but let's just take a quick look. Orbit around the model, you can see the utilities, the bridge, everything seems to be carried over from that Revit file. Let's go to a 3D view and then we're going to export this to an FBX file. And we're just going to make sure we've got everything included and we're going to embed the textures and we'll click OK. And we'll keep that pedestrian bridge name and let this process. Now we're going to go to Windows Explorer, go to the place where I just saved that FBX file. I'm going to right click and copy and put it into our Dropbox Torch location so we can pull it up in AR. And here we are in AR. What we're looking at here is the floor plan that I printed out and I set this scene up so it. Uh, it track the image. So I set the model as soon as it, um, as soon as you could see the floor plan, it would pop up and we've got full control. As you can see, we can move it, we could rotate it, we could scale it up, take a better look. It's great for design review meetings. Um, if we're reviewing this with clients or just project teams in general, uh, really puts a, a little bit of a wow factor in there. And to take it one step further, I added this arrow to go to another scene and I brought in the floor plan as an image. And as you can see, the bridge is now rising through that paper. And this kind of really just really makes things stand out a little more. You could see the floor plan a little clearer. And again, if you wanted, you could have full control over the model, but this really just adds a great touch to it, a great effect. And yeah, if you got questions, feel free to reach out. Steve Walls at Hotmail.com. That's S-T-E-V-E-W-A-L-Z at Hotmail.com. Thanks.